Greetings, everyone. Greetings. How to get real estate leads. How to get started in the real estate industry as a real estate agent. Very good questions. Very common questions. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of videos out there that are much higher budget and, you know, paint a beautiful picture, a nice canvas, and talk about a lot of things. But we're here to talk about the realistic things in a uh, very practical way. And, you know, Hopefully the advice that we're going to be talking about and discussing in this video is of somewhat beneficial to you. So let's get straight into it. Normally I talk about our real estate company and advertise what we do, but you see it here on the page and I think you're more interested in getting into what today's topic is about. How to get real estate leads, how to start off in this industry and grow your business. But before we start talking about that, let's talk about why people fail in the real estate industry. because. If you look it up on the internet, you could Google it or go on your search engine. How many real estate agents fail? Why do you do so many? Why is there such a high turnover rate in the real estate industry? What is the success rate in real estate? Well, it says here, depending on the source, the percentage of real estate agents that fail in the business within the first five years ranges between 85 to 90 percent. When you think about it, Nearly 9 of 10 new agents can expect to fail. And this is no secret. You know, most real estate agents, they come into this industry and they don't understand uh, or they're not guided in the proper direction. And most of the time, they fail. You fail. 9 out of 10. That's a big number. 9 out of 10 new agents fail in this industry. Get out of the business lose money when they practice the real estate profession and that's mainly because that you know what the topic is of this video how to get leads how to get clients and start working with the public and start closing some deals it's not easy it's a very aggressive and competitive business <clears throat> and a lot of times big companies and brokers are not guiding you properly because at the end of the day when you join the real estate industry, when you get a real estate license, you're not an, you know, technically you are an employee working for an employer, which is your broker, but you're an independent contractor. Most of the time, if not all the time, you're not paid a wage, a salary. In fact, most of the time, if you join big companies, especially, you pay to work there. Now, I'm not one to judge, but in my opinion, you know, I think it's ludicrous if you're going to pay a broker to work at that company. I don't care if that company is the big name company, biggest name company in the world. You know, I'm not interested in paying to work somewhere because it's a big firm. But maybe you feel otherwise. This is just my opinion and from my experience <clears throat> and my success. So how to get leads, how to get started in this industry. That is the main topic of this video. I'm here talking about a lot of things about success, why agents fail, but you're here because you want to know how to get real estate leads, how to get started, how to get things going, how to start making some money. Because when you get in this industry, a lot of individuals, maybe you, maybe somebody else, are, you know, we want to learn. You want to understand how do contracts work? How does real estate work? How do you work with clients? You want to learn, learn, learn. And learning's good. But at the end of the day, you need to be making money. You can't be learning and going to these seminars and all this training for months and months and months. You need to be making some cash. And in real estate, when you first get in this business, you're more than likely not going to be making any cash in the beginning. So the first thing I recommend to you before we start talking about how to get leads is make sure your financial situation is stable. You need to, one, have a job. Where you're making some money or two you saved up some money to support yourself or you're being supported by family a spouse significant other you're in a situation where you don't have to worry about real estate paying your bills in the beginning because you're not going to be making that much money in the beginning you're going to be investing a little bit now that's not to say you're not going to be making any profit if you do things properly and you know do things that i advise and so forth that works best for you you could be making some profit and some money in the beginning. You may not be making much. It depends on much you start off with and how you advertise. So before we talk about how to get real estate leads and how to get started, you may or you may not 
will want to go work for a broker that's providing you these leads. Now, I advise against this, unless you really don't have anything, any money to invest in yourself to start off with. I highly recommend if you're going to be getting real estate leads, how to get real estate leads. You're growing a business. You're growing your clientele. You want to start off with at least a few thousand dollars, maybe a little bit less, but you got to pay for your membership at a realtor association more than likely to get a super key so you could access properties and have access to the MLS because without that, <laughs> I mean, you could try working as a realtor or a real estate agent without that, but I can promise you if you're trying to do that, you don't want to invest money into becoming a realtor or have access to the MLS, you're going to be one of these nine agents right here. So this is just my advice. Perhaps you want to do things differently. Not to say that someone can't experience success without it, but more than likely you're going to be those nine agents that get out of the industry. So you could go work for a broker where they're providing leads. Now keep in mind, these brokers are real estate teams that you go work for. They're paying a lot of money in advertising for these leads. So do you think that they're going to give you the good leads? You think if someone contacts them and says, Hey, I seen your ad. I'm looking to list my half a million dollar home. You really think they're going to give you that 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 lead to a newer agent to work that? Maybe they are. Let's talk about the realistic side of it. No, they're not going to. More than likely. But hey, we, maybe things are done a little bit differently with how you're seeing things uh, created or done. But more than likely. These teams or real estate brokers who are paying for advertising, they're keeping the good leads and they're giving you the worst leads, the stuff that nobody wants to work. Hoping that, you know, maybe if you and 20, 30, 50, 100 of other agents are working these garbage leads or low end leads, somebody will close something maybe. And these brokers and teams aren't paying you anything. Matter of fact, more than likely, you're paying the work for them. And you're spending your gas, your time, your money, you know. Uh, driving these individuals around, going all over the place, all over the city, all over the county, showing them properties for maybe a chance that they'll buy something. And as much as the broker and the real estate team doesn't care about how much money you're spending, I'm here to tell you that you need to care about how much money you're spending and how you utilize your time. Because that's what's important at the end of the day. You need to be successful and smart about how you spend your money and time. And also, if you're working for a broker that gives you leads, more than likely you're on a commission split where half of your money, if not more, is going to the broker. So you may work four months working these low-end leads, these leads that are terrible, driving people all over the place, doing all types of labor, spending a bunch of time, not making a penny. All you're doing is spending money, spending money, spending money. And at the end of the day, collect a $4,000 commission that gets cut in half has some extra fees that you didn't know or read about in your contract. And then you just spent maybe four months, three months working with these people. And by the time you factor in all your gas money, wear and tear in your car and whatever else and so forth, eating, uh, you know, doing your laundry for your clothes and your nice outfits and suits or whatever the case may be, you could end up spending $3,000 in those three months to make $2,000. And that doesn't make sense, does it? Spend 3000 to make 2000 That's a fast way to get out of the business and fail. And be one of those 9 out of 10 agents. So, the purpose of this video, how to get real estate leads. You could start off working for a real estate team or broker. But for another video, possibly we could talk about how to do that. You need to be very careful how you spend your time and your money working those type of leads. Because you want to get out of that situation as quick as possible. If you don't have no money to invest, you want to do that. Maybe make some profits, take them profits and invest it into yourself and your business and growing your clientele because learning and everything is great, but you'll learn along the way. The most important thing is making that money. If you ain't making no money, it doesn't matter how much you learn. You can have a billion dollars worth of knowledge. That means nothing if you don't have a penny to go buy yourself a sandwich to eat or anything to survive. All that knowledge means nothing if you have no money to survive and pay your bills, grow your business. So what good is all that knowledge when you have no clientele and no money? The money and clientele comes first. The knowledge will come through having that clientele and working with the people and learning along the way. 
So keep that in mind, because that's what's most important. You need to be making money. The knowledge will come. The training will come. Focus on getting that money first, building up your client. That so let's say you're listening to me in this video, and you've realized, you know what? I want to do. I want to build my own. I realize how it works. I see how it is. I'm an independent contractor. These are my clients. The broker's just here, so I could legally work in this industry and collect a commission. So let's say you find a broker and so forth where you're collecting the majority of your commission and it's a good split and so on and so forth, but the broker is not going to be providing you leads and so forth. You're going to have to be doing this on your own. Now there's free way to get leads. Do they work? Not really. They're pr pretty, pretty garbage. Um, you know, but there are ways if you don't want to spend a penny and you just want to invest your time, like, you know, contacting for sale by owners, uh, doing that type of what they call prospecting but at the end of the day it's kind of soliciting um you know following the do not call list basically uh trying to persuade people to work with you for sale by owners um doing free advertising uh getting permission to advertise other people's listings we're not here to really talk about that because you just have to invest so much time into doing that and to eventually get something that works out and get a deal that works through. Um, does it work? Yeah, it can work. You know, it takes a lot of time and you have to go through a lot of no's. You know, you may have to go through 100, 200 people telling you no, leave me alone and saying nasty things to you to get one person that says maybe I'll work with you. And then out of all those hundreds of maybe, you know, people you go through, you get like four or five maybes. Maybe one of them turns into something that makes some money and works out. But that's a lot of time. And, you know, in the beginning, that's what I had to do because I didn't really have no much money to invest in myself in the beginning. And it works, but you have to save that money and invest it into something else like advertising. And that's what we're here to discuss. Is if you're going to be getting started in this industry, you don't want to be one of those 9 out of 10 agents that fail that we see here and why they don't last and be that 87% of everyone who fails in the industry. Then you need to invest your money wisely and properly. And the way you do that is, you know, you see our website here. You know, that's the first thing I'd recommend you do is get yourself a website. You don't have to have a nice, expensive website. Start off with like how we did. Get one of those Wix sites, a free website. There's plenty of other companies online. You know, there's a lot of tools in 2022 as the time of making this video. You get one of those websites and get your own little website and just have something to start off with where people could go and sign up on a little form that automatically emails to you. Get something, some type of presence. It doesn't have to be expensive in the beginning. You'll, you'll get to it, to you know, being able to invest into a nice website. So that's the first thing is get yourself some type of website. And there's free websites. There's no, no excuse for not getting yourself a website. Get something going. So that's the first thing that you want to do is get some type of website going. Get a free one. The next thing is you need to invest into some advertising. Now, there's manual advertising that you could do, but in 2022, at the time of making this video, your best bet is to do things online, the internet. And it's so easy nowadays because there's so many platforms. As you can see our website, we have our social media. I'll scroll down to the bottom here. We have our social media links down here. We have a Facebook page. We have a LinkedIn page, Instagram, Twitter, we have a little YouTube channel, you know, and this is how things get started from here. You don't have to have YouTube ads and so forth. You can, and it might work for you. It's a little expensive to create ads on YouTube and so forth, but you can make a nice YouTube ad and that works. You know, you have to learn how to utilize the advertising on YouTube and so forth. And you might want to hire a marketing professional to do that. Um, but maybe you can't do that in the beginning and so forth. You want to start off probably with some, some Facebook ads you could start off with. Some LinkedIn ads, Instagram ads, Twitter ads, Google advertising. You know, these are ways to start off, but this costs money. So, you know, you have to have a little bit to invest. Now, in the beginning, if you're starting off in the beginning, like I said, you want to have a few thousand dollars to invest in yourself. And you want to invest this conservatively. You don't want to go crazy with it because what works for me might not work for you. And what works for you may not work for the next person you have to find what works for you and the best way to do that is to trial and error things in different ways maybe facebook ads just don't work for you it's not bringing in the type of clientele you want but maybe your youtube ads is crushing it and doing great and this is where you need to invest most of your time in 
maybe your Twitter ads are doing pretty good in significantly getting some phone calls coming in and working with people. Maybe it's not. Maybe the LinkedIn, LinkedIn ads are doing the best for you. You want to try all these different things, Google ads, and these, these things are expensive a little bit. So you want to have a, little, a budget set for these things. Spend a few hundred dollars here, a couple hundred dollars here, a hundred dollars a month on one little thing, and try to build up from there. And a lot of these advertisements, are, you know, it can get expensive and so forth. But you want to make sure your financial situation is set so that you could do this. Now, there's a lot of individuals that may be listening to me and thinking to themselves, like, oh, I, I don't have money. I, I need money now. You know, I got bills to pay. I got kids and so forth. I got the, like, you know, I'm, I'm, in this, I'm here to make money. I need to work for a company that's going to provide me something, you know, don't, don't let me judge you and so forth, but if you're getting into real estate and you want to work as a successful real estate agent, real estate professional where you're taking on clients and so forth, if you're in a situation where you need money, you got bills to pay, you're, you know, you're, you're trying to make ends meet, you know what I'm saying? You got kids or whatever. I understand that. And you know, by all means, do what you got to do. Take care of you and your family. But in this real estate industry, you're not going to find much success. It doesn't matter. If you speak three languages, if you have nothing to begin with or to invest into yourself, more than likely you're going to go work for some broker. You're going to be spending a whole bunch of time, not making no money, finally close the deal to make a couple of dollars that ain't putting nothing on the table for you. And after a couple of times of doing that, you're going to realize like, man, I need to go back to work at a job or something. Like I need month, I need weekly, monthly income coming in. I can't be running around doing all this to make a couple thousand dollars, four thousand dollars, five thousand dollars in, in four months. You ain't going to be able to make ends meet with that, especially if you got kids, you got bills, you got to take care. Like, you know, it just ain't going to work. So maybe you don't agree with me. Maybe you think I'm crazy. Maybe you think what I'm talking about is a waste of time. But I'm telling you, if you want to be successful in this industry, you've got to have a little bit of money to invest into yourself because you're growing a business at the end of the day. You're growing your clientele. This isn't just, this isn't a, an industry where you're going to work for somebody. This is an industry where you're no longer having someone take care of you. You're taking care of yourself. All these deals and so forth and clients you work with, you're controlling your own business. You're not working for someone who's writing you a check, paying you a wage. This is growing a business. If you're not interested in growing a business and doing that, I'm not saying there's no agents that don't work on a team and so forth and they're happy with their situation, or whatever they're making, you know, maybe that's for them. That ain't for me, I'll tell you that. I'm not interested in working on no team, doing all this work and labor and so forth to be collecting a couple of crumbs or whatever it is. I want to be growing a business and taking on some clients. And, you know, when I go and work with these clients and invest two months of my time with someone who's serious and I pay $1,000 a month in advertising for me to get a client that's looking for something and then I close that deal and I'm had a, I have a $6,000, $10,000 commission, I want that $6,000, that $10,000. Minus a couple of fees for the broker that I work for. Not too much. I ain't trying to do a big commission split because I'm investing all the money and time into this. That comes to our commissions. We're our 100% commission program where we just charge a transaction fee. But we're not here to talk about Niz Realty Inc. and how we run things and so forth. We're here to talk about you and how you need to be keeping your money and investing properly. So, with that being said, you're going to have to put some money into advertising, you know. If you really want to be successful, but maybe your situation is different. Maybe you like working on a big team for a 50, 50 split or something else. And you just work the leads at your company or whatever the case may be. But that's not for me. That's all I could tell you is that ain't for me. And that may not be for the next person that's watching this video. So depending on your situation, we'll see how it is. Back to the point of the video, it's how to get real estate leads, invest in, into advertising. You got to invest into these little different types of social media, Google ads and so forth. Those are the best things. So the first thing is get yourself a website. You might want to write this down. You know, this is good notes here if you're really trying to, you know, be successful and, and be, make things happen because this is how it all works and how you grow your clientele. And honestly, you're worried about training. If you're a realtor, you got a realtor association membership, you're at your local board, they all, most of the time, offer you these training things for free and how to work with people. And you know, and honestly, if you're in the state of Florida, or even if you're not, if you want some consultation, 
you can contact me in our YouTube channel and so forth. You know, you can find our contact information. Just go to the About page and so forth. You can reach out to me and so forth. You know, click here and so forth or whatever our social media. Reach out. I'll explain to you how to how to work with clients. How to take you know when you finally get there. You know, you could uh, consultate with me and I'll give you some advice and so forth on how to actually you know operate and speak to people. But you know, maybe I'll make another video for that. But the point is, you gotta do some advertising to get some people to call you. you need your phone ringing because you need clients. And then you need to go through these clients and work with the individuals who are, you know, looking for something realistic that's gonna make you some money. Because you may want to be the great realtor, you want to help everybody, but you need to be working with something that's realistic that's gonna get you that money because you got to be making that money. That's what's most important. I know you want to help everybody. I know you want to try to find everyone their dream home, but you need to be working with. Who's going to close something the fastest and make you that money? Because you need money to pay your bills, to pay for your advertising and so forth. So that you could be in the profit and in the plus at the end of the month or over time as you invest into yourself. Real estate, it takes time. You're not going to see results right away. It's going to take some time. But the results you're going to see in the beginning is your advertisements. You're going to spend a few hundred dollars, a thousand dollars in some advertisements. You've got to be getting some calls in and working those leads. Or some people signing up on the forms on your website and transferring them. And to the next thing which I recommend is, you know, eventually get a CRM, a customer relationship management software, I believe is what it stands for. And there's many different types. You don't have to have one in the beginning. You could just have all your ads just funneling to like your email address for a sign up form or something like that and contact those people manually. But as you get more and more clients, you want to incubate those those leads and, you know, have them set up on some automatic emailing and so forth or whatever the case may be. They can unsubscribe later on if they decide they don't want it anymore. Um, but, you know, a CRM is good to have eventually. But uh, that's probably for another video. You could contact me and we could talk more about CRMs and so forth. Maybe I'll make a CRM video in the future. Who knows? We'll see how successful this video is. But in the beginning, you want to be paying for the, the doing some advertising, getting your phone ringing. And the best way to do some advertising is, you know, through the Internet, through these social media platforms and so forth. Sure, there's free ways. You don't have to pay for the advertising, but I'm not here to discuss that. Those free ways, they don't, you know, they don't really work that well. Uh require a lot of time but if they can work I did them in the beginning myself to get started and what did I do I was contacting for sale by owners you know respecting the do not call list and so forth contacting these individuals and um, trying to sell myself to list their home and a lot of people that I would contact I'd go through hundreds and hundreds of contacts reaching out to individuals to get hundreds and hundreds of very nasty uh, knows, let's just say, people weren't too nice and weren't very happy for me contacting them. And, uh, you know, it was difficult. And then after doing that through hundreds of people, getting a few maybes, and then turning one or two of those maybes into an actual listing, and then those actual listings, not all of them sold. Some people I was, you know, a little inexperienced in the beginning, and I'm listing all these homes for extremely overpriced, and they're not selling at that price, and the people don't want to lower their price, so I'm here wasting my time with this listing. So, it was difficult going through hundreds of no's to get a couple of maybes, and then out of, you know, you know, out of like four maybes, maybe you get one person to sign up and get a listing. This is me contacting for sale by owners, by the way. This is how I got started in the industry. And then you take those maybes, you get maybe one person to sign up of the maybes. Then you keep doing that, and maybe you have two or three listings. And out of those two or three listings that you do, maybe one of them sells. So this is a lot of time and a lot of stress that you're dealing with. And you're sure it's not costing you anything but your time in the beginning and maybe some gas money and so forth. Um, and your realtor association membership to list it on the MLS. And then you eventually sell something and then, you know, uh, you take them profits, you know, whatever you made a few thousand dollars off of a sale and so forth. And you want to reinvest that. Like what I did, reinvest it into some social media advertisements, some Google ads and so forth. Um, and basically grow into something better because you don't want to be doing that for a sale by owner's tough very often. It's just... Uh, like it works out of rep repetition, but 
but there's better ways. There's much better ways. So this is the best way to do the advertising. Now in the beginning you can pay for like those you know, I'm not gonna mention their names, but there's big real estate websites, companies, um, that you pay them for leads. They do all that advertising and lead generation for you, and you pay them for leads. A lot of times they make you sign a contract with them. Uh, this does work. It can work. I've, I've found some success with it, especially if you know how to work them leads. These real estate websites have gotten better with screening these individuals. Um, and it does work. It's expensive, and you have to get locked into like these long contracts sometimes. But um, it can work. I personally like to do the advertising myself. And be in control of my own fate and my own advertisements, but um, you know it just depends. Uh, they they do work. You like I said earlier in this video, what works for you may not work for me, and paying for those leads can work, and it could work very well for you. So you might want to try it out, but just just be careful with getting locked into those contracts. You may want to try to find a company that. You can only trial it for a couple of months and so forth. You don't want to lock yourself into a contract paying a lot of money. Um, and those things are expensive. So be careful with that. Um, yeah, definitely. Be very careful with that. So there's a lot of things we discussed in this video. The main things you should take away from this video is, number one, get yourself a website, even if it's a free website, where people could sign up on a form and, they could be notified about their sign up. Number two is invest in some advertising. You may want to get a marketing professional to help you create these ads. I know that's expensive in the beginning. If you want to save some money, watch some YouTube videos and do some research on how to create Facebook ads, you know, and LinkedIn ads, Twitter ads, Instagram ads, um, YouTube ads, and just learn how to do it yourself. I'm not going to show you how to do that because personally I didn't. I, you know, took some of my own money and invested into having a marketing professional do all that for me. Um, and you want to make sure the marketing professional you're working with is qualified and has experience and success with your industry. Um, but you could do it yourself. It just depends. But at the end of the day, that's what's important. And that's how you're going to find success in this industry. If you're going to go the route where you want to just work for a broker who's providing you leads, more than likely, uh, you're going to be on such a bad commission split or work on a team where you think it's a good opportunity more than likely uh you know not all the time but more often than not you're going to be spending a lot of time and stress working with these clients and on this commission split whatever they're giving you and not gonna be making much money um but maybe you're making a sufficient amount that you're happy all i can say is that's not for me i don't i don't uh I don't suggest it, but, you know, what works for you may not work for me. And all I can say is that doesn't work for me. It's not what I'm, 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 it's not what I'm interested in. That's all I'm saying. So, perhaps we'll make another video about discussing with, uh, you know, how to work with clients and so forth. Um, but the main thing is that you should take from this video is that you're growing a business when you get in this industry. You're not working a job. You're growing your business. You're taking control of your business, your fate, and you're not working really for somebody. You're working with your clients and you're taking upon your own business. You're growing a business like if you're opening a retail store or if you're opening up a uh, some other type of service industry, you're growing your own business. So if you're not interested in growing your own business, you can go work on a team or something like that. But like I said, that's not really where you find success in this industry. Um, but, you know, to each his own. So feel free to contact uh, me for any type of consultations about uh, how to invest into these advertising and platforms on social media or the Internet as far as growing your business, how to do it. And perhaps we'll make a video of how to speak with clients and, you know, talk to people when they first sign up with things and how to just start working with people in general because there's a whole thing of that. And you want to, you know. Even when you're advertising, if you get people who call or sign up on your website and so forth, you don't just want to go out and just start showing homes to anybody who contacts you. You know, you want to qualify people and so forth, and uh, you know, make sure you know, make sure they can afford for what they're looking for. And uh, you know, you just don't want to take anybody out. Um, 
And there's a way to qualify people, different techniques to use, but perhaps we'll discuss that in another video. Let me know in the comments if you want to see something like that or have a video discussing something like that. But you got to invest into yourself. If you don't want to invest into yourself, you don't believe in yourself, how do you expect someone else to believe in you? How do you expect someone else to invest into you, invest their time into you for helping them find a home to list their home? You don't need much in the beginning to start advertising and start off your business, but you need a little something. So make sure you're financially stable. There's plenty of people, including myself, that work a job in the beginning just to pay your bills and you slowly transition into this business and invest into your, your, your clientele slowly get it started even if you're working with one serious person eventually and you could turn that one serious person into a closing you know maybe you spent a few hundred dollars thousand dollars into getting that one serious person then you end up closing that deal and make four or five thousand dollars that's a good way to begin that you spend four let's say you spend six hundred dollars in advertising and you got about four or five clients through that advertising one of them ended up being serious and something that you could get something closed you end up closing that deal and you turn that six hundred dollars into four or five thousand dollars that's a good way to get started now you take that five thousand dollars four thousand dollars and you invest a little bit more into some advertising you don't want to go invest all of it you want to be conservative with your money and do things right do things smart be smart with your financials and decisions and so forth and i can help you along the way with that if you want to contact or reach out and how to you know invest your money wisely and then maybe turn a thousand dollars into another eight thousand dollar commission another four thousand dollar commission so that you're in the plus you're making profits and continue to grow from there and it's going to take time it's going to take maybe months before things start really start rolling and start having some commissions come in and things start working out it's going to take some time you need to believe in yourself invest into yourself and invest wisely so be careful with how you spend your money in the beginning just make sure that you're financially stable because it's going to take time. If you don't have patience and the time and you're looking for a paycheck next week, you better keep working your job and doing something else. Because when it comes to real estate, you're not going to get a paycheck next week or next month. Unless you're working for somebody as like an office assistant or something like that. But in that case, you're not working as a realtor and taking upon your own clients. So, it's going to take time. Let me know if you have any comments. Drop them in the end of this video. And we'll, uh, we'll discuss more topics. Let me know if there's some other topics that I've talked about in this video that you want to get further into, like how to speak to clients when you finally get them. Or let me know if you want me to further elaborate on how to do the advertising as far as uh, social media and other things are concerned. And we'll take it from there. Good luck out there. And be careful with how you invest your time, how you invest your money, and where you do things. Just make sure you're financially stable before you start taking this industry serious because it's going to take time. This is not overnight success. This is not get a paycheck at the end of the week success. This is growing a business, a very competitive and hard business. And you're much as you want to learn, you need to know how to be advised properly because there's a lot of brokers, a lot of real estate teams, a lot of companies out there that don't pay you a dime for you to work there and they'll send you out showing homes to anybody who calls the company anyone who calls your phone and you could waste a lot of your time and money and i promise you if you waste a lot of your time and money you're going to be out of this industry faster than you know it because nobody is interested no matter how much they're learning nobody is interested in spending time and money to get nothing in return because at the end of the day you need to be making some money that's what's important who cares about learning and so forth that will come with making money the first thing is getting out there getting clients that are realistic and getting that money in commissions you'll learn along the way trust me you'll learn a lot along the way but the first thing is, is you need to start getting that money and start growing see you in the next video